From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Tuesday. A police-involved shooting turning deadly in northwest Miami-Dade. Police say a 70-year-old man called 911 threatening to kill people in a residential area near Northwest 114th Street and 17th Avenue. When police arrived at that scene, they found the suspect allegedly standing outside, armed with what looked like a rifle. Police say they attempted to de-escalate the situation. They say the man would not comply. That shooting remains under investigation. Only on 10, a disturbing discovery in Weston. We're told about five cats were found cut in half at a community near the Everglades. Residents doubt that gators or other wildlife could have done this. Detectives now asking anyone who sees something to say something. More drama in the courtroom Monday. Jury selection for the Parkland shooter's penalty trial continues. A lawyer for the confessed shooter threatening to quit, going as far as filing a motion. The lawyer reportedly wanted to stop down after the judge ordered the selection process to continue, despite the absence of a key member of Cruz's defense team. The judge denied the lawyer's motion to quit, and the selection process resumes today. South Florida seeing more flood watches and advisories just days after a tropical storm moved through our area. The weekend downpours already leaving a lot of damage behind. Dozens of Coral Spring residents were forced out of their apartments after water leaked into an electrical panel. And in Pompano Beach, several trees came crashing down. Many areas experienced flash flooding. Broward's drainage system was overwhelmed during the height of this. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.